So today, the surf forecast is this is a normal wind for La Hinch. It's southwesterly, it's onshore. But if we drive down the coast, I'm hoping that we can find a clean offshore wave somewhere. If the surf forecast is right, hopefully it's right. I've just dropped my three kids to school. There's a bit of a crisis in the school. There's 26 kids in the class and 19 are off sick. So here we go. Last winter we did the lockdown surf vlog. This winter, gonna do a lot more surfing, surf vlog, and we want to talk about something that everyone needs to know about. It's the end of days, what the Lord, the Word of God says about the end of days, the book of Revelation. So today we're gonna go surf. The hitch is onshore. We're gonna drive down the coast and see if we can find an offshore wave. Are you going surfing? I am. Where are you going? I'm gonna just nip over down the point over there. Are you? Maybe get a couple of onshore sloppers. We might go somewhere offshore. Offshore? Oh, we'll come. Offshore? Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll fall here. Where do you know there's offshore than I do? <laughs> yeah, we might drive down. Might drive down to Spanish Point. Well, Will there? Yeah, three meters down there. Uh, you're on it, Jeff. I'm on it. I know where I'm going. I'm just not saying anything. <laughs> you think it's only starting to come in now? Um, is your friend up from Wales? Yeah, yeah. Uh, welcome, welcome to these foreign shores. Hey? Welcome to these foreign shores. Ah, it's a fantastic place. Yeah. Better than Wales. Like three hours before school, right? So, uh, three hours before school, run. Yeah. That's it. So that was interesting. There's Brendan. Look at that. Oh wow, look at that, Stuart. We can swim right there. Looks mighty rippy. Will I make it back in? Ooh. Look at that, huh? I knocked down a dog here one time. Came to check the surf, and this dog ran out of a house up here, just like kamikaze, like <laughs> dived. Little tiny dog dived on in underneath the car, got mangled, didn't die. Um, stopped. The poor family were in turmoil. Went back. I think the, the vet came. I called back in a few weeks later and the dog survived. The dog was back chasing cars. Did the dog survive? Survived. Right. It, it was like as if his neck got twisted but he somehow survived. You knocked me down, swept my feet off the ground, left me on the floor. So I haven't been back here since. Hard to resist, got me looking like this, like the one before. Oh, look, there. Beautiful. Here we go, barrels. Here we go. Is that George's? That is George's. You want to poke your head over? Oh, that, look at that way. Over that head. I am. Um, I got down over there before. I think that side.
again. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and he paddle out and catch the wave and boom, 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 boom. Oh, like Winch it. up, you know, on it. Like, I like the last section. So it was great to get a surf in. And you know, this spot is offshore on a, a south or southwest wind. And we fully need the forecast to, uh, to figure out where to go on what day. The forecast determines that. And there's different uh, apps that give you a forecast. Some of the apps are, are accurate and some are not. But you know, I mentioned earlier about the book of Revelation and the Bible. The Bible accurately describes what the world will be like in the end of days. And the Bible is proven to be accurate from previous, previous events. And so there's these future events that Jesus talked about in the end of days. And so, but it gives me so much hope because I see these things not taking place now, but you see a foretaste of things happening today, whether it's a pandemic or whether it's plagues or chaos in the world. That's exactly what Jesus said. The world isn't going to utopia, it's going to pandemonium. And so Jesus said all this would take place. We don't know when, but the point is when you see it happening just as Jesus said, it gives us hope to trust God, to trust the Bible, because God's in control. None of this took God by surprise. And God, let me ask you a question. In 2021, do you think God is sending us a message. Let me know what you think. Put your comments in the, put the, what you think in the comment below. Here's a good set. And here's the, here's the thing. Okay, do you think God is sending us a message? I really believe God is speaking clearly that God is sending us a message. That, uh, and it is his message. He's told us what his message is in the Bible. John 3, 16, God, he so loved the world that whoever believes in Jesus will not perish for their sins, but have everlasting life. God wants us ready for everlasting life. God is a long-term thinker. And uh, look at these beautiful waves. Oh. We're here because the forecast told us to be here. And it's the same with the Bible. It's a forecast. It tells you the events that are coming, that are going to take place. And, and that just gives me so much hope because it, everything is going to plan. Jesus is in control. God is in control. And he wants us to have hope in these days because you just see everything that God said is going to happen is going to take place. We don't know when, but we can look at the forecast and understand the times and know what's going on. And that gives me a lot of hope. And hopefully get a, another surf in very soon. Last winter we did the lockdown surf vlog. This winter Stuart and I are going to be surfing and filming the end of day surf vlog. So join us on the search for winter waves here on the beautiful west coast of Ireland. And do please like this video and subscribe helps the video go far and wide, helps the channel. Hope to see you soon. God bless.